hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about some infrastructure programs that are going on in the parish of st thomas now the southern coastal highway is going through st thomas it's going to run from harborview to port antonio to portland so you're going to go from the parishes of st andrew to run from st andrew through st thomas and into Port Antonio. So this is going to open up a whole new dimension for St. Thomas. It's actually going to put St. Thomas on the map because you can get to St. Thomas quite easily now. So let's go through this article that gives an update as to what's going on and then we we'll discuss it after. The government will be spending more than US $200 million to develop the infrastructure in St. Thomas to position the parish as a new prime tourism destination. Minister of Tourism Honorable Edmund Bartlett made a disclosure as he opened the 2022-23 sectorial debate in the House of Representatives. The works include developing Rocky Point Beach, establishing wayfinding stations in Yalos, rehabilitating the road to bath fountain hotel as well as leveraging strategic partnerships to develop heritage sites such as fort rocky and Mark bay monument other arms of government are supporting this trust by undertaking significant significant upgrades to the road and water pipeline networks mr bartlett said the intention is to attract a new demographic of vi visitors to the parish with high net worth who will be big spenders. We're going to have lifestyle tourism in that area. We're going to have a new look based on a new approach that brings new jobs and new facility facilities, he said. The tourism minister said that by 2030, this initiative is projected to bring tremendous economic infrastructure and investment benefits. These include 4,170 new hotel rooms for St. Thomas, 230,000 overnight visitors, US 244 million in visitor expenditure, US 22 million in tax contribution, as well as 13,000 direct and indirect jobs. The initiative is also expected to result in tourism contributing US 174 million to gross domestic product, US 508 million in private investments, and US 33 million in public private partnerships. All right, so that's the end of the article, giving you an update. So, definitely, things are looking up for St. Thomas. And one of the reasons, well, the main reason why all of this is going on is because of the Southern Coastal Highway. You can get there easily, quickly and you'll be driving on a modern highway it's a four lane dual carriageway it's the best road that that side of the island has ever seen so a lot of opportunities are opening up for st thomas so we will keep you guys updated as to what's going on all right guys remember to like share and subscribe have a good day.